Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can wire your Wenbird reticulation system. Now this one here, I have opened up a cover already. It's got a cover here, I open up. And once you have opened up, there are lots of wires. Uh, each of these wires are basically going to one of this um, valve. Okay, so it's going to one of this valve and on top of this valve is a solenoid and it's connecting to one of this uh, wire right here so before we even go into this valve let's take a look at some of the things on here so on this uh, unit you can see there are some case cables over here don't worry about this because it's already connected what you really need to worry about is the common wire the master wire and you got the station one two three four five six some units have four, six, eight, or even 12. So depending on which unit you purchase, uh, it doesn't really matter uh, about the numbers because the more you have, then the more you can connect. And each, each of this number is connected to one of these valves right here. And this valve is responsible for open or closing the valve and allowing the water to go through. Now the master, valve is exactly the same as the number one and number two valve uh, they are no different so here you can use this this same valve for the master or your standard uh, stations now at the moment you can see i have a common wire this common wire is shared amongst the master and other stations okay so the purpose of the master valve is to help you save water so from your main tap water goes to the master valve and from the master valve you got water going through all your other stations so in case if one of the stations is faulty you've got the master that is uh, closing in so no water is going through to save your water now the connections are very similar so let's uh, first uh, take a look at this diagram so you can see how this works so over here we've got a common wire so we are using a standardized color either a white or a black uh, wire and then you got other different wires the reason why they are all in different colors is to help you to identify which stations it is so later when you are connecting to all the different solenoid the colors of the wire will help you to identify which solenoids that you are trying to uh, fix or replace uh, show it goes faulty uh, down the track okay so we got uh, first we got the common wire which is the white color now of the solenoid if you look on this small diagram so we got the controller this is the controller right here and then we've got all of the so we've got the master valve and then all the other valves connected so the main water go to the master valve and the master valve goes to other stations. You've got station one, station two, three. Uh, it might not be connected like this. It could be like master valve and then it goes to station one and then let's go to station two and then from there go to sta station three. Okay, but you've got the common wire, which is the C right there. The common wire runs, runs along. And then you've got one of the cables from the valve, from the master valve connected to the common. Then you got station one, one of the wire connect to the common. So each one of these cable, so one, each one of these cables from the valves or from the solenoid up here. So one of the cables is connecting to this white cable right here. Okay, so all of this valve, all of this solenoid. So this part here is called a valve, and this is the solenoid. So all of this solenoid, one of the cables have to connect to the common line to the C to the common line okay so it doesn't matter which cable it is you can see they are both has the same color because it's not um, important and it doesn't matter which one you use you can use either this one or the other one it is not uh, polarity so you don't need to worry about it and yeah so one of these cables we go to let's say C and then you got the other cables let's say if this is uh, the solenoid for station one then you connect this one to station one 
okay and then you, if you have another one then you connect this say if this is the master then you connect to the master then you got station number two three four five and six and so on okay so now that we understand how it works so you can see this solenoid right here or this valve so um, how it works is this is have this solenoid and this unit here the station controller it will basically when the timer is turned on it send a signal down to this valve and this valve basically uh, pushes the pin up and down there's a diaphragm in here and there's also a pin so when the controller is turned on it can it send a an electrical signal to the solenoid and it pulls up a, a valve like a pin in there and it allows the water to go through and when the timer stops it pushes the pin down and then it closes the diaphragm and stopping the water from going through okay so that's how it works now at the moment i have a master station one and station number two connected so take note of the white cable which is the common wire and then the master is the brown cable then you got the brown cable again for station number one and you got the red cable for station number two now the reason why this one is brown cable because i'm running out of wires this is a seven core cable so i'm running out of wires so i have to use one of the new wire from my new cable right here and this is the reason why i have two cables because this one here doesn't have enough wire for me to run an additional station okay so this is connected to the box and then it goes down to the ground and on the ground it just go along here under the pavement and then up here okay and then all the way to this side okay so let's take a look here i've got the two cables coming in okay and we've got the white cable right here you can see the white cables right here and it is connected to one of the cable in this valve station number two then you've got another cable connected to station number one and then i've got the master right here which is also connecting to the same white cables which is the common cable okay so now that i've zoomed in you can see all of the solenoid of the um, solenoid cable one of the cable needs to be connected to this common wire which is the white ca cables or the white wire and then on the other cables so i've got the brown one you can see this is the master the master connected the brown one from the other cable as i have shown you previously so it's connected to this so this is the master the brown cables connected to this uh, red wire from this solenoid here and then i've got station number one station number one then goes to this other cables which is the brown one remember as i show you in the box so this is the brown cable that goes to the station number one and then now we've got one more cable left and this one here goes to the red so there should be a red one in here here it is the red one so i'm just going to try to get a focus in here okay so you can actually see what's going on so that's the red one so that is station number two okay so that's how it works now one of the cables from each of the solenoid connect to the white one to a, white, to a common wire and then uh, the other cables connect to the right color cables so that it can uh, trigger um, uh, the, the station the, the solenoid to, to, to turn on and off okay so I'm just going to uh, uh, connect all of this to make sure it is I have now I haven't uh, finished this one yet now uh, I have uh, left this one open so that I can show you how the wires are connected and this is what it looks like now all of this wire should be joined with a wire joiner so this is a wire joiner you just basically plug it into your wire joiner and then you press it down really hard and that should um, join up the wires and it has some silicon in here there are silicones in there to stop the water from coming in because over time if the wire is exposed to water it will get rusted now one of the problem with using this wire joiner is that sometimes when you have a lot of different wires connecting right next to each other uh, sometimes it can uh, cross wire so for example this one here i've got station 
one and then you got I got station number two in the middle when I punch this one down all the way down somehow it cross wire so if station one turns on station number two also get turns on at the same time or if station number two get turns on station one also get turns on at the same time so if that happens to you just replace it with a different uh, wire joiner or join them separately and this also helps prevent um, the wire getting rusted and stop working in the future okay and here you see I have four uh, color wire left and this are uh, preserved for other um, solenoid for other valves I haven't finished it yet but you can see there is an extension there I'm going to go to my backyard and connect it to the other solenoid so this is what these cables are for it will be uh, joined and then run down with the um, the poly pipes to the back to uh, and then it's going to connect to other solenoid okay so let's um, take a quick look here you can see this is the main pipe this is going to the main water and then it goes to the master the master valve basically controls the water flow before it's gone through station one or two so if say station number one is faulty and it's leaking water is coming out then uh, if the master valve is closed then even if this is faulty uh, you're still not actually losing water because this is already closed now the master is not um, necessary you can uh, set up without the master valve but as i said if station number one or station number two valve is leaking or if the pipe is leaking then um, you could uh, potentially be um, wasting a lot of water and wasting money uh, without knowing and uh, at the end of the month you may uh, face a big water bill so that's why it's, it's kind of good to have a master valve it's like a safety um, to uh, protect you in case one of the one of the solenoid and the valve is gone faulty okay so now you know how it is uh, connected you can see this uh, box here is connected to this uh, power point now if you don't like the look of this because the cable is kind of like dangling outside you can get an electrician to hardwire so it goes through behind the wall and then this wire will not be exposed so it's up to you how you want it so let's test it out so if I now I have um, station 1 and station 2 connected along with the master so if I press on the menu okay so we go into menu and I'm going to press on um, so I go back I'm going to choose station number 1 and then I press on the next button and then I'm going to set it for say one minute or let's just say two minutes and then if I press on the next button it will immediately send an electrical signal to station number one and then it will lift the pin the water will go through the valve and then the water the sprinkler should start to work uh, straight away and there it is you can see the water the sprinkler start to spray as I press on that button okay so now as I press the minute down to zero you should see it stopped okay let's try uh, station number two so I'm going to press on station number two and then next and I'll set it for two minutes and I'll press on the next button and then we're going to uh, take a look okay so the solenoid got activated and then it goes through this pipe right here then here it's a little bit stuck right here and then we've got water coming out now as I say uh, it's not finished well I'm just showing you how the wires are connected and that's it guys all right thank you for watching this video I hope it has been uh, helpful and please uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos